Hi guys and welcome back to my channel or hi hello if you are new here. Today is a home bargains haul. I have a few bits to show you, home bits, decor bits, beauty bits, so a little bit of everything. So I'm really excited to get into the haul. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Okay, first up, this is probably the most excited I've been in home bargains ever. And that's quite a statement because I get excited every time I walk through the door of home bargains. When I went in there the other day, I spotted this real pampas grass. So this is not fake stuff. This is actually real dried out pampas. And it looks really good. Like, I don't think this looks too bad at all. And I've been looking for some for a while and I've been wanting to buy some on Amazon, but they're normally around about 30 pounds for three stems and I just I don't know I can't justify it really I just feel like it's quite a lot of money but then I came across these in home bargains which you get three stems for four pounds 99p um, they're not like the most thickest stems ever but they look really good the color is really nice so I picked up this creamy colored one and then I also picked up this like sort of I suppose grayish color um, and I thought these would look really nice together in my vase that I have that I've been waiting to fill. But I've been waiting for some decently priced pampas grass. So I feel like I've got it. So I'm going to pop it in the basket now. I'm going to pop it in the vase now that I've got and show you what it looks like. Oh, they feel really good. Like, I definitely can't complain. These feel really fluffy. Look, they're so fluffy. Now, I think most people who buy pampas grass already know this, but like, you have to sort of leave it out in the sun for a little bit just to make it like poof out. So when you first get it, it does always look like a little bit flat like this. Um, but I feel like once it's been out in the sun for a few days, it will fluff right up. This one already is quite fluffy. This one is just one stem and is actually very fluffy and looks really, really good. It is molting quite a lot though. I'm noticing as I'm shaking them around, bits are falling off. Um, but again, I just think that's quite normal with like fresh pampas grass. So that's that one open. Let's open the other one up. Okay, so here are the more like brownie beige ones. Oh no, what's happened? This one's broken. Oh, that's such a shame. So the tip of this one is actually broken. So I'm gonna have to probably take that off because it's just hanging there. But there it is, it's off. But I'll probably just add this in with something else. Like it's not too bad, it's only a small bit. This one's molting a lot. I don't know if you can see as I shake it lots is coming off i just hope that this does still last i think there's another trick you can do where you can spray them with hairspray to make that the little things stay on so i'll probably leave these out in the sun for a bit and then like cover them in hairspray and just try and make them last as long as possible but yeah this one looks pretty good they feel really soft as well really love them so this is the vase i picked up this is not from home bargains um i actually picked this up in a charity shop for five pounds and i saw it and it's like oh, i love that i love wicker so this is what I've been wanting to fill for a while now. I might have to trim the ends of them a little bit, but I think this is gonna work. I mean, yeah, it definitely needs a little bit of styling, um, but I think it's gonna work in here and look quite nice. This is just to sit in the bedroom in the corner, but yeah, I'm gonna have to like trim the bottoms of them and everything. What I'll do is I'll just pop a picture on screen of how I managed to style this in the end so you can actually see how they look. Like, it's a little bit hard to show you on camera because they're so tall. Oh my God. There is pampas grass everywhere now. It's all over the bed and I just changed the bedding. This is definitely molting more than stuff that I've bought off Amazon before. So I feel like maybe like it's probably not like top, top quality. But if you're on a budget, you don't want to spend too much, it's fine. Okay, next thing that I picked up is this spray mop. This is the Eubank spray mop. Um, I've never used this brand before. I don't know if it's any good. So it is just a manual spray and then it has the little like bit of material on the bottom of the mop which you can pull off and wash. So I have been using the, is it the flash spray mop? or Whatever it is where you have the bottle of flash in it and they only like you to use the flash solution they make it really difficult to actually put in any other solution and i just want something where i can choose whatever solution i want and i can put it in there and also the flash mop a few people said well you can like you can like break the seal on the flash mop bottle and you can like put your own solution in which i did do and it worked for a little bit and then it just started leaking and also i don't like the fact that the bottom of it is disposable pads that like you use them a few times and you just throw them in the bin i'd rather something i can wash is a little bit more environmentally friendly i did start using a material bottom on it anyway to wash but i thought it's about time i just picked up 
a whole new mop which does exactly what I want it to do. So this is a manual one. It says it's lightweight, the trigger's at the top and then you put the solution just in the bottom down here and then obviously you just spray it as you mop. You get two microfiber cloths included which go on the bottom of it. It has a 360 degree swivel head which is good. And then it also comes with this multi-function scraper. So you get this like extra piece in it as well which I thought, I'd, I'm not really sure what it's for, but like, I mean, it's handy, isn't it? To have something extra. And this was actually only £10. So these are the two cloths that are included and they're just like Velcro on the bottom. So you can just like stick them on the bottom of the mop. I love the fact that you get two included as well. That's really, really good. It's like such good value for money. This is what the base thing looks like. Oh, this is your extra cleaning thing, which just like basically fits on the side of it here. And then you can just like, pop it off like that um yeah I don't know I guess this is just for like scrubbing in corners scraping stuff up I'm not sure but it's not really in the way it's kind of just like hooked on there like that so that's cool and then here's your container that you can fill with solution and then I've just popped the base on there and I'm just going to put the cloth on there as well oh it's a nice wide cloth as well actually and then the handle just clips onto here so very easy oh god <laughs> Very easy to put together. Oh my... Okay. It's because I'm trying to do it on camera. It's so hard to do like normal things that you would do without even thinking. When you try and do them on camera because you want to make sure you get like all the information in the shot, stuff happens. And then here is the whole mop. So I think it's pretty self-explanatory, but I just thought that was really good for £10. Okay, next I just picked up a couple of plain white face cloths. Um, the ones in Home Bargains are actually really soft. I do really like them. And they're, I think, 69p each, so really affordable. Okay, next I, I picked up this Dove Beauty Cream. Um, this is the Nourishing Body Care Beauty Cream. Deep moisturisation with no greasy feel. Um, this is what it looks like. I've never seen it before. It's in this really cute pink packaging, which is what actually drew me into it. So this is what it looks like inside, like a really, really thick body butter cream. Ooh, it feels nice. It feels really nice. It almost has like a whipped texture to it. Oh my God, it smells so good. It smells just like the Dove soap. You know, the original scented soaps. It smells exactly like that, which is like one of my favorite scents ever. And even though it's quite thick, it's quite like lightweight. When you blend it in, it doesn't feel thick. It feels like quite thin, but like very moisturizing. Oh my god, it's just the scent. It smells so good. Okay, so next up is a, another cream, but this is sun cream. This is the Hawaiian Tropic Luminosity Protective Sun Lotion for protective and protected and illuminated skin. Um, they had it in SPF 30 and in SPF 50, but my new kind of like hack is even if I'm not going sunbathing or whatever, I apply sun cream like all over my body because the moisturization on it is so good. And this one, because it's got the illuminated skin stuff in it, um, it actually gives you like a nice sheen across your skin as well. So it makes it really like glossy and glowy, but it's also protecting your skin as well. And it's very moisturizing. So I've actually taken to, yeah, using sunscreen as like a daily moisturizer um, if I'm wearing if I'm going to be like having my skin out and stuff and I want it to look glossy and glowy, I will go for an SPF. And an SPF with the luminosity in it is like even better. So I've already got through one bottle of this. So this is kind of a top up. I use this one quite a lot. And this is like £3 or something in Home Bargains. And I think it's normally around about £10. So you can get it for a really, really good price in Home Bargains. Okay, next um, I picked up these four whites. <laughs> Literally buy these in every single home bargains video, so I won't talk about them that much. Um, I just love floor wipes for quick, instant cleaning. I always have them in like every bathroom and in the kitchen. So if it's like a spill, or I just want to give the sides like a quick, clean wipe over, um, I'll just use these for like ease of use to kind of keep things clean. Um, and they're really affordable. They're nice big wipes. I think they're about fifty nine p per pack, or maybe eighty p or something. But really affordable, and they're very good, and they do smell really nice as well. Next, I picked up some wipes for my skin. These are the Johnson's Makeup Be Gone Wipes. I won't necessarily use them 
to remove makeup. I generally just have a packet of wipes around, like when I'm doing makeup and stuff, sometimes I clean my brushes on it, sometimes I clean up my makeup with it. I don't use them for skincare because I actually think that they're not very good for skincare and they like dry your skin out and stuff. But if I have like particularly tough eye makeup on or something, I might go in with a wipe after I've cleansed if there's still some mascara left on or something. So I do always have a packet of wipes in the drawer. And these ones actually look really good. And I think these were very heavily discounted as well. So that's why I grab these ones. Okay, next, I was very excited to see this. Um, this is a Real Techniques facial sponge. These are normally, I think, £6.99, £7, around about that price. 99p in home bargains. I love it when I find Real Technique stuff in home bargains. It's just so good because it's literally normally about 99p. They do brushes in there quite often as well. Really good sponge and definitely amazing for 99p. Okay, last up, sticking with the beauty theme, um, I picked up these Malibu lip glosses. I think these were maybe 1.99 or something like that for two. Um, but these have SPF in them as well. They're 30 SPF, so great for the summer. But I just really like the colour of them. Oh, they're two different scents. So there's a coconut one and there's a strawberry one. So I'm going to open them up and see what they're like. <laughs> this one's broken. So I've just pulled this out of the packaging. And it's actually all like smashed around the rim and it's completely broken like this is the inside of it that's not the thing that you're supposed to apply it with it's literally completely broken which i'm so annoyed about because this was the one that the color of it was that i was most interested in um, but hopefully you can see there the color of it anyway but let's have a look what the other one's like so the other one i have is this pink strawberry one which is also a really cool color it says it's strawberry flavor so does that mean i can eat it Oh, the colour of this looks nice. So this is obviously what it should look like when you open it up. Like you should obviously have the doe foot applicator there um, and not the whole thing coming out. But the colour of this looks so cool. Let's have a look. So the colour of it is a very light pink glossy colour. Oh, it smells nice as well. I did prefer the scent of the other one though. I have a very matte lipstick on at the moment. Oh, it's not sticky. Lipstick all over the end of it now. So that wasn't very sensible, but... I want to show you what it looks like. Oh, it's nice. It's like just a subtle gloss. It's not sticky. It feels really nice on the lips and it smells good. Oh, I like it. And the fact that it's got SPF 30 in it as well is really good, obviously, to protect your lips. I also think this pink one would be really cool as a highlighter as well because it does have like a nice pink reflect in it and I think that would look really cool on the cheeks. Anyway, guys, that is everything that I picked up from Home Bargains this time. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments where you'd like to see my haul from next. Hope you're having a lovely day, whatever you're up to. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!